What's up, guys? Are you ready to get Shyamalan? We're talking M. Night Shyamalan because he's back in the theaters with After Earth. Do we want any more of this guy? Today, we have a pretty cool panel to help us decide what is the worst M. Night Shyamalan film of all time. First, Mr. Jordan Morris from one of the funniest podcasts around, Jordan Jesse Go. Hi, Hal. Uh, f you for making me watch these movies. <laughs> Thanks, Jordan. And uh, right next to me, Christian Harloff. You can check out his show, youtube.com slash schmoes know. They know a lot about film, that's what they know. Well, thank you. Let's get into the holy grail of stink. I have a big stack of M. Night Shyamalan films right here that I stole from Redbox. First, uh, The Sixth Sense. I think we can agree that this is a pretty good film. It's a fantastic movie. Yeah. yeah. By the way, Bruce Willis is a ghost. <laughs> um, Unbreakable. I like this movie. I, I know some people have problems with it. I, it's actually my favorite Shyamalan film. I love this movie. Next, we have Signs. This is a pre-anti-Semitic, misogynistic Mel Gibson. Well, and a pre bat <laughs> Joaquin Phoenix. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if it was pre. It just wasn't like they hadn't gone, hey, we're here. So, not bad. Not bad. The Village. I think we started to take a little bit of a turn here. It's hard to hate any movie whose twist is Future Zoo. This one, to me, the cheap reveal, it's when he started to buy his own hype, but it's not the worst of the worst. Can we dismiss The Village? We can. It we is. Can it, it. It, it isn't these last three movies. Right. That you. is the only reason we're not calling it total garbage. Lady in the Water, Oof. The Happening, and The Last Airbender. So Jordan, one of these films stood out to you as the worst. Yeah, Lady in the Water is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. It's not even fun bad, it's just boring and pretentious and dumb. Someone told this guy at one point, he read it in an article, this could be the next Spielberg after Sixth Sense. He went, I am. So now, yeah. I, well, I told, my, I told my son over a bowl of cereal about this magical wolf, now it's a movie. I can do that, I'm M. Shyamalan. And it's just, it, his head just was too big. M. Night Shyamalan is a, Pretty big character. He plays a writer right. that it is uh, foretold will save the world with his and beautiful writing. Right. He will speak of you and your words. Your book will be the seeds of many of his great thoughts. It's like if George Lucas cast himself as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Well, like, that was that close. Is, that that is, was close, by the that way. Is, this is as ridiculous as that. What about Paul Giamatti? Do you remember? He held his breath for like three minutes underwater in that cavern yeah. looking for th that stuff. Oh, you know, he's looking for the magic mud to <laughs> cure her of the grass wolf wounds so the tree monkeys can, I want to like punch myself in my own dick <laughs> talking about this movie. <laughs> I sound like a retard. After Lady in the Water, we had The Happening. It's bad. It's, I mean, it's really, really bad and hard, hard to take it serious, but you shouldn't. You should watch this movie as a comedy and it really is one of the funniest comedies since uh, Caddyshack. You know, hot dogs get a bad rap. They got a cool shape, they got protein. You like hot dogs, right? Yeah, this this really, I think, goes into that territory of Birdemic in the room. It's got crazy dummies falling off roofs. No, it's got so a good. guy who lays down in front of a lawnmower. Well, and what, what he's also been able to do in his really bad movies is make decent actors look horrendous. Mm -hmm. Because Mark Wahlberg was nominated for an Oscar, and he looks like he should be doing scenes with Pauly Shore in this film. Planning on stealing something? No, ma'am, we're not. Plan on murdering me in my sleep? What? No. I have something here that uh, tells us that this is an especially bad movie. Uh -oh. This is a quote uh, from Mark Wahlberg, The Happening. <laughs> it. it is what it is. F***ing <laughs> trees, man. The plants. <laughs> F*** it. Historically bad. A terrible film, I think we can all agree. Yes. Yes. The Happening. Yes. Now, there's one more film in the running, The Last Airbender. I hate this movie with a passion. <laughs> I hate it so much. Yeah. I was watching this film, like just <laughs> so angry at everything. I mean, I felt bad for like the CGI characters that were in it. I felt bad for everyone that had to be a part of this thing. It, 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 ah, it sucks. They pray on the weakest towns and villages. We should go visit some of these towns, Ong. I need to tell you something. What is it, Ong? I ran away before they trained me to be the Avatar. 
And you don't care about anyone either. Like that, you know, in this whole this whole look, you should and you should make it cool. Like even with the fighting style, give me something new. Mm -hmm. Give me something that is not so generic and vanilla. Yeah, it looked like they just stole the moves from your mom's yoga class. Yes, <laughs> like, yeah. they went to yoga at the Y, observed yeah. for ten minutes, and told the kids just do that, and we will throw special effects out of right. your hands. My mom goes to curves. Um, <laughs> okay. With the lady in the water, it's his own crap. It was garbage. Mm -hmm. It's hard to watch. But this is a movie this, from source material that people loved. So you're basically peeing all over it because yeah. you're saying, I'm Shyamalan, <laughs> and now I'm going to force you to watch this, giving you hope, and then crushing that hope with a bad CGI drag. Guys, it seems like uh, none of us are going to budge off what we think is the worst Shyamalan. So let's let the audience decide. In one sentence, tell me why your choice is the worst. Jordan. It's a fairy tale with racial stereotypes in place of magic. Christian. All right, so all I have to say is this. If you're a fan of the original series, watch it. And then watch this, you'll hate it. It's it, it's not faithful to the original source material at all. He thought he was Shyamalan, my head's so big, I'm the best. The movie stinks and it still has a smell on it. No one remembers the other ones. Everyone remembers this piece of garbage. Everything Shyamalan attempts in this film goes wrong. And the villain is the wind. All right, guys. We've pled our cases. Now it's up to you to determine what is the worst M. Night Shyamalan film of all time. Is it Lady in the Water, The Last Airbender, The Happening, one of the movies we threw on the floor? Or did After Earth come out of nowhere to take it? Leave your comments, let us know. We will tabulate your answers and annotate it right here and you will see what is truly the worst M. Night Shyamalan film of all time. I wanna to thank today's awesome guest, Jordan Morris, Christian Harloff. I have to put this down. It's burning a hole in my life. <laughs> uh, we have hand sanitizer in the lobby. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Hal Rudnick. Bye-bye.